So Suma, as we know it, being a black kingdom, definitely is the child of Ethiopia. And many people credit Suma for bringing astronomy to the world. So, so although we could show um, older artifacts again from Kemet itself beyond Suma, but at the same time, even if that was so, it is still a black nation because Suma again is the direct um, child of, of Kush. All right. So now when we come out of the African scope now, because that is Africa, even Suma itself, you could argue that we're still in the realms of the African nation. But then let's go beyond that. Let's go to, to Greece, which many consider the foundation of European civilization. Now, let me repeat again. The reason why Greece could be the foundation of European civilization is because the Greek um, people came and sat at the feet of the ancient people of Kemet. They came and sat at the feet of the builders of the pyramids. They came and sat up at the feet uh, 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 of the builders of the temples. And they, they, they read the scrolls and they learned the language and they understood the mathematics and they, they, they learned about algebra and all these different things, the sciences, the chemistry, that's why it's called chemet, or that is why it's called chemistry, because it comes from chemet and, and physics and even biology. They learned all of this, and this is why they could go and, and build a civilization that is renowned now, that the whole world admires, ancient Greece, you know, to the point that it is the standard of education you know, in our, in our modern day time. Yeah. All right. So when you look now, for example, at the gods of Greece, you have Zeus. Now this is Zeus here. And as you can see, Zeus is as black as they can get. This is the Greek god Zeus you hear about the clash of the titans. This is the Greek god Zeus. And people would argue that, well, you know, the color black in some of these statues, sometimes it has to do with the material it was made from, or sometimes the painting is very symbolic. And some people even go as far as to say, well, the painting is old and you know, it's a bit dirty. That's why it's black. Even some would tell you, well, you see, they've been lighting candles under that painting for centuries. So the soot from the candle has darkened, has darkened the, the color of, of, of the, 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 the skin of the Virgin Mary. That's why she's black there. Yeah, but her eyes is, uh, are still white, you know. But I mean, the point is that you could even look at this vase here and you can see there's three people and an animal in the picture. One of the persons, uh, 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 he's very black. The other two, they're not black. So there's a clear distinction here between him and them. And as I said, that is Zeus. Then you have other gods. Uh, this is Achilles. He's just as black as Zeus. Black like midnight. So the point is that even when you go to Greece, ancient Greece, in the origin now of their civilization, we're talking about their gods. Those, whether they created the gods or whatever the case is, but they portray them as being black and very black. Even cases where you see the gods with locks. So that is just to show you we're dealing with Africans here. So, so when they went back to Greece and they started to revere the heavenly hosts, they made sure they portrayed them in the way that they saw them in ancient Kemet. All right. You can look at the vases uh, 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 of uh, ancient Greece, some ancient vase in Greece. And you can see again, some of the warriors. I think these are Trojan warriors. Um, and um, you can see how they're portrayed here. Also, this is another vase as well. You could see again, it's not no confusion with the color. 
they are black and they are white. All right, once more, you can see. But the main point here that we are highlighting to you, family, is that in ancient Greece, which is considered to be basically the forerunner of European civilization, you can see the obvious presence of black people. I mean, most of us, if we don't even take the time to look into this, we would believe that there were no black people at all in Europe until they came and got us out of Africa. That's the impression that we would have, not knowing that not only we were there, but we are the foundation of it. Even in the same Iraq and Jordan and Syria, these places of the world, the Arab world, you still have us there, but it's not something that is celebrated because we are all over, because we are the foundation of these people. Then now you have here a Greek man in Anatola, and this is like 200 BCE. We're looking at a statue of a black man with his locks, talking about 200 BCE, and this is in Greece again. Eh? Greece we're talking about before Christ. So before Christ in Greece, there's obviously a reasonable black population of, of notoriety that you could speak about. Then of course you have Greek vessel in the form of a youth licking his lips. And this is now from 400 BCE. So we've gone 400 years before Christ and we're talking about the obvious presence of black people in Greece. He, he's obviously black. You can even look at the nose structure and we're talking 400 years before Christ. You have another statue here, obviously African, um, African um, type, phenotype for sure, another Greek rendition and this one extremely black. And again, you know for sure, because again, people may say, oh, the black is symbolic. Some people go as far as to say, well, they paint the male black and they paint the women white because this is what they're observing. This is what they think they see. Okay, so they paint this one black. Some people argue this is a female, but even if it's a female or a male, you can clearly see it's a black person. Watch the lips. So this is not a white person that they just paint black for symbolic reason. Look at the hair. The Greeks clearly understood without any shadow of a doubt the importance of the Africans in their civilization. That's exactly what it is. You know, again, from, from uh, these ancient Greek portraits, you could see that there are obviously different shades of people in the civilization. But what we're highlighting again, that if it was left, to them alone, you would believe that black people had nothing at all to do with the foundation of Europe. That is my point. All right. Now, specifically, we are actually going a bit now to Rome. And All right, blessed love family. I'm just going to come in right there and give thanks for your presence with us. I was just sharing it with you a bit of the mighty online lecture that we did. Some of you were present for that webinar. It was the Divine Black. That is just an excerpt from the Divine Black. Very wonderful lecture presentation that we gave a few months ago. And of course, the full, you know, the full presentation is available. All an individual has to do is visit our website. Of course, you know the website, Priest Isaac Institute dot com that's priest isaac institute dot com the link of course will be in the description below this video and when you visit the website you just go to the area that is marked shop and when you come to shop you scroll down and you will see different items that we have and also our books our online lectures we have several books and online lectures plus video documentations that we have here just a lot of information and you come right to the divine black here it is that's the divine black that is the lecture that you were just observing a moment ago 
And of course, it's it's a full online lecture presentation. You just make your, your purchase right here. So just visit the website, priestisaacinstitute.com and you would get more information on that and exactly how you could see the rest of that. In fact, I'm going to give you a touch more of the divine black before we seal up this. But remember family, the International Homeschool Biology Edition is definitely ongoing. Remember when you contact me, it's not about enrolling and joining, you know, like in, in process and no, no, you start from the beginning. So you don't have to worry. So when you contact me today, yourself or your child or children, you know, one package goes for a household. You don't have to worry how many children you have. And for sure, as I said, you know, you will start the biology edition from the beginning. And definitely, you know, remember, you could always ask for a sneak preview of our homeschool programs, you know, so you can see for yourself exactly what is taking place. So contact us, of course, priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com. Let us know that you are very interested in the International Homeschool Biology Edition. And of course, remember, we are still doing the Astronomy and the African Heritage and History Edition. So I'm telling you, family, now is the time for you to contact us. Remember, these courses are very inexpensive and of course not only professional certified professionals uh, who are bringing these specific subject area um, areas to yourself and your young ones so give thanks and of course it's it's very fun and very upful and very um, educational the children will learn so much so you know what to do just contact us please as an institute at gmail.com all right, family, give thanks for your presence with us and give thanks for the life giver. And of course, I will just uh, leave you with a bit more of the divine black, that online lecture that we did. Until, bless it. In up. this civilization thanks. that also stand out because of course, you know, they're not going to tell you about the black emperors of Rome. No, they would never tell you about the black kings of Britain. Yes, they had black kings of Britain. They'll never tell you anything about the, the black popes of Rome. You sure they have black popes of Rome? Don't be telling us any lies now. <laughs> yeah. This one is um, um, Septimius, Septimius Servius, Servius, pardon me, Servius, Servius, pardon me. You know how it is with the language, Servius. But anyway, he was specifically... Uh, a Roman emperor from 193 uh, to 211. And here they say, he was born in Libya, in, in present day uh, Al Alkum. This is obviously not East Africa. Check him good. And you can see obviously it's a slightly different complexion uh, from his wife's. So this is Emperor Servius, and he specifically, without a doubt, you could just look at him and see that he is of African stock, and he is the emperor. I repeat, the emperor of Rome. So again, if it was up to you know just history in general, you would never know this at all. They would purposely keep this from you. And then now we come down to the popes of Rome. We have three major popes of Rome. So the point is now that when you hear them talking about, well, you know, we might have the first African Pope of Rome. Yeah, every time the Pope changes, you hear them talk about that. Eh? At least since I've been checking the changes of the Pope, 